Annabelle is certainly a powerful woman. Her presence dictates how her piece is going to come across, and I think that's that's really beautiful. And I really like that the more I work with her, the more I learn who she is. And I think she has many different sides. She's, she's a very multifaceted choreographer. I'm Susan Romer. I'm from based in San Francisco. The dance community is really connected in San Francisco, so I just sort of introduced myself. I think we were following each other on Instagram um, these, this day and age. <laughs> we were connected before we were even connected, which is pretty cool. Um, then not long after that, she said, hey, you know, I have this project coming up and I'd love for you to do the design. When we first began, she just had music and um, a painting. So she's been working with an artist, Kathleen Werner. She has a couple different series. This one is called Ecliptic. Um, so there are a lot of this sort of feeling of like a time piece, like a watch, or this sort of like structured element, um, like a sundial almost. So it was very interesting actually working with Annabelle and only receiving the music and a painting and not quite, I mean, not hadn't quite evolved past that yet. So it's interesting developing something together before the choreographer even has a chance to see the dancers or like work with her clay, basically. In the beginning, I used the painting. I just put it in my computer and then was able to project it onto a body, seeing what, what how is this painting and these shapes flattering within the structure of a, uh, a dancer's body. And I found that kind of adding these rounded angles in the middle of the body just really wasn't doing it. So I sort of flipped the painting on its axis. So basically, you've got rings that go around a dancer. And so I have a lot of banding that goes around the body, but it's sort of an abstract way to, to incorporate this, the circular movement or shape. And I like that she pushes me in thinking about things differently than I would. This painting, I have a different take on it than I think she does, and so it's sort of fun and frustrating at the same time to try and figure out where we overlap. When we all push each other, it's, it ends up being something that none of us could have created alone, which is really, feels very rewarding.